Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, part one, breakdown sheets, we're going to learn how to add elements to breakdown sheets. Now, if you'll remember, in a previous lesson, we learned how to import a screenplay into Gorilla. On the right hand side of the screen, you will remember the scene navigator. And this is, of course, how you navigate to a different scenes in Gorilla. Let's add some elements to scene one. Now, before I begin, notice here on the right hand side where it says scheduled elements for scene. This is displaying the elements that are attached to scene one. Now, if you'll remember, let's go ahead and launch Tagger real quick. Let's do a quick comparison. Remember when we were in Tagger for scene one, we had all elements for the current scene shown here. Notice that the same elements are displayed in Gorilla. So you can see when we imported our tagged screenplay that our elements came in directly from the FDX file. All right, so let's add another element to the scene. Even though we tagged our screenplay, it is very possible, if not mostly probable, that we're going to want to add more props and costumes and things of that nature to our scenes after we import our screenplay. I'm going to select the props category from the left hand side of the screen. Here you will see all the props that were imported from the screenplay. Let's go ahead and add a prop to this particular scene. In order to do that, select prop. I'm going to select the prop spoon. Notice that the spoon element is now added to the right hand side of the screen. It is also color coded so you can quickly tell which category it belongs to. Let's do that again. I'm going to select a different category, costumes, and select the costume white sandals. I have now scheduled two elements for scene one, elements that were not tagged in the screenplay. If I were to select white sandals again, it does not add the element again in the list. Rather, it ups the count of the element to two. If you select it again, the quantity changes to three. If you were to select the remove element button, it would change the quantity to two again. If you were to select the remove button again, it would go back to one. One more time, and it would remove that element from the scene altogether, but it does not remove the element from our list of available costumes. And that is a very important thing to note. Next, let's add an element to this scene that we don't have in our list. Let's say we wanted to add a hat, for example. Select the green add element button, type the word hat and click OK. Notice what happens. Two things. It added hat to the list of available costumes and it adds it to the right hand side where it says scheduled elements for scene. Now I'm going to do that again and show you the different options you have here. I'm going to enter red hat to make it a little bit different. Notice the checkbox on the bottom. This will be checked by default. It says add the element to the current breakdown sheet, which means if I click OK and it is going to close the window and add the element to our list of costumes and it is going to add the element to our scheduled elements for scene. If I were to select this button here, it says here when you click OK, add another element. This will create that element, but it doesn't close the window, therefore allowing you to create more elements. You can do this endlessly until you hit cancel. Notice it adds the elements to the list of costumes, red hat, green hat, but it does not add those elements to the current scene. Next, I'm going to show you how to sort your scheduled elements list. Select the sort elements button. You can change the sort order by selecting one of the drop down selections. For example, you can sort the list by element name or by board ID. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.